Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Ericsson TV. Curtis here with Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. Hey, Lauren. Um, we talk about lots of different topics, and uh, one of our uh, one of our main uh, objectives, I believe, is to help people get on a proper path to retirement. Right. And uh, yes. so there was an article in yesterday's USA Today newspaper about uh, uh, taking a loan out of a four hundred one k. And I, the, what was shocking to me, without reading the whole article, was how many people. Uh, have taken uh, out 401k loans because the whole idea of a 401k is to is to uh, put money away pre-tax generally right. uh, into a retirement plan that will grow for a future right. retirement benefit. And so the interesting thing was, as of right now, one in five 401k plan participants or 20% have an outstanding loan, which is a wow. big number. That's and, way too many. Yeah, and That's of those, not... uh, of, of those. Uh, people, uh, fifty percent of the borrowers have taken out the loans more than one time. Oh no! Okay. And uh, then they do, they, do, they do some specific things like ten then ten percent of those borrowers uh, end up having to declare a hardship withdrawal because they can't pay it back. Right. Yes. Um, just without without going too much in detail, generally when you take out a four hundred one k loan, it's capped at uh, the uh, the lower of uh, your half half of your balance or fifty thousand dollars. Is the general rule, and you have to pay it back within five years at right. a stated interest rate, usually somewhere in the four and a half to five and a half percent range. And um, what they're finding is that uh, the there's there's uh, people are uh, especially younger people from ages 35 to 44 are the most predominant uh, right. 401k people. Now I realize we had a difficult economy, right? And we're still getting through that. There's a lot of people that had uh, you know maybe had their uh, you know financial situations, but. Uh, now, what, what, do you, what is your take on this? Well, yeah, that's 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 the 401k plan not working the way it should. Right. No way should 20% of 401k participants currently have a loan outstanding. Right. Um, you know what happened was basically we realized that we weren't that pensions were going to be a problem. Right. And especially in the corporate world, they realized that we were not doing a good job of predicting them, and that there was a problem with incentives because people had an incentive to um, sort of promise these pensions and then they weren't really able to pay right. them. And so we said, okay, well, we'll have defined contribution plans, but they're not just supposed to sort of be savings plans. Right. You, you know, they're supposed term. to, right, they're supposed yeah. to be very, very long-term plans that are kind of going to replace pensions. And if, uh, t yeah, if uh, quite, if so many people are taking loans out, to sort of get by with a day-to-day -day reality in the early years, and these things are not working as replacements for pensions, right? At all. Yeah, there's some things that I uh, takeaways from this, and uh, one one of them is is you know a really bad idea to take out 401k loans to pay off credit card debt. Uh, <laughs> right. That's the number one because they say a, a lot of times people just go and charge up their credit cards again right. anyway. Yes, exactly. Um, actually, people think this is sometimes a good idea, but never borrow from your 401k to pay for either yours or your your kids' college costs. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, it's better to probably take a student loan and work out a system and have the have your child be kind of take right. some ownership of that loan. Um, the, and they also say that uh, you know the there's that missed opportunity cost. If you take the money out and you, let's say you take you, even if you pay it back over five years, you, you've missed that potential market gain opportunity yes. cost, which could be a big devastation right. on your future retirement. Right. Um, and then last but not least, there's this one advisor that has had to say this because it really bothers me. He goes, uh, he goes, uh, I, you know, I get a, I, I think it's uh, uh, a bad idea to take a 401k loan into a uh, in the stock market rally. What well, really it shouldn't matter whether it's a bull market or a bad market. Make any difference. Um, but uh, the other thing he says is he goes, uh, it's silly to anyone say that it's a bad idea to borrow money from your 401k or to always say it's a bad idea. It comes down to discipline. If you are a very disciplined individual and stick with terms and conditions of the loan, it is fine. He also says he has clients who borrow from their retirement savings uh, to use for their business growth and he thinks that's a good reason to do it. And I just don't know if I like that kind of advice. Most, okay, the overpowering majority of people who are very disciplined won't need to be borrowing from their 401k right. plans. Right. So I'm just having a hard time imagining there are very many people where that advice applies. Right. At the end of this episode, uh, I understand if it becomes like the last resort, but yes. I, I can almost predict, and I'm sure you would agree with this, that you're going to, uh, down the road, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 years when you retire and you start taking money out of your 401k, if you've had 401k loans in the past, you probably will have some regrets because you're, you'll see you know that that has a, a meaningful impact on how how uh, how uh, far your 401k has grown.
there's almost always a better option. Okay. Almost always. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Ericsson TV. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you now. next time.